Ivan Kuperev, and I am a researcher at uh, Disney Corporation. And you said a very quotable statement today, like if you go to Disney World in one year, you'll see what the future will look like in 20 years? Yes, I hope. I hope it's going to look like the future. So that's you know, our work. So maybe we want to do something which will show people the future. And uh, hopefully you will be able to do it when you go to Disneyland. What, what might that be, for instance? Well, I cannot say. It's the future. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, for instance, you were hinting at um, some kind of interface for augmented realities. Uh, we don't really know. I'm, I'm in the research stage, so it's, uh, we keep our option open. But we would like to, of course, to... And we don't even... Not necessarily focusing on the parks. We are focusing on all range of human experiences. And we're looking at things like augmented reality, haptic tactile feedback, uh, wearable computing, mobile computing, um, Interactive textiles, uh, interactive clothing, all this, all this uh, emerging technologies we are actively looking at, and we we just want to see where they can be used. It doesn't don't necessarily have to be parks or anything like that. It can be anything we want. Uh -huh. What are you working on at the moment? I'm really interested in physical computing. I'm interested in um, in creating devices. Uh, we, which look like normal physical objects, but actually have intelligence. I'm also very interested in haptic uh, displays and haptic ways to present information where people can feel information through hand and through body, rather than just see it or hear it. Um, I'm interested in new sensors technology where people can, which allows to capture human activity very really easily and without, um, and obtrusively. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking at now. But uh, I'm keeping option open and I, I can get interested in something new anytime I want. That's the whole point of being a researcher. There was a little discussion going on today about this kind of will there ever be an off button and, and aren't we going in a direction where we'll be dependent on A copyrights and B technology. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion on that? You know, I didn't have an opinion until today and uh, it just was an interesting question, an interesting comment. Um, when people start saying, you know, when technology is going to become a part of our everyday life, how are we going to turn it off and where is the off button or on button? So um, I, I don't know. Uh, at this point, I never thought about it. I think some of the technologies will be always on. Um, some of the technology will be able you know, to turn on and off. Um, but it's, it's, I think it's, it still has to be seen. I, I, I cannot say for sure what's going to happen. But uh, there was something I remember about like the more research is being done, the higher the chances that it will be accessible to the broader society and not just uh, the military. Oh, I don't work for military, so I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I guess it will be accessible to, to broader society. Uh, but that's, again, the, the beauty of research, of any research, and not only um, scientific research or artistic research, is that you don't know the answer. That's, in, the point here is that if you find out what the answer is, then the research is finished. So. If I can answer, give you an answer right now, that's, I can only answer about things which, are, which I have already have done. How high is your rate of prototypes that then become the present? Well, this is a complex question. Um, my rate is about 1%. So, you, so of 100 uh, that's ideas about, that you come up, like one managed to get to the market? Yes, you, before you see. Uh -huh. so, but that, that's actually a really high rate. You know, usual, often, there is a rate of 0%. So it's very difficult. Market and, 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 market and, and research is very um, uh, different things. So it's, it's not a topic which can be discussed in five minutes. No, but it's good for the researchers if they don't have to bother with the topic. But do you actually, do you have to think like, do you have to think within the market too? Or can you just, are you there just to tinker no, and think? I, I, can, I don't have to think of the market in, in, in my head. And uh, I don't, when some people don't, um, I think you have to have a balance between both of things. But I do, this is my personal choice, is that I do like to do things which can, can be used by people in the future. You know? Because um, I think if you just think about anything you want, it becomes more like an art. And I'm not an artist. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of want to, I'm interested to get my stuff into the people's hands. So, but this is my personal choice. I don't have to do it. Nobody forces me to do it, but that's my personal choice. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>